Welcome to this tutorial where we are going to be talking about our spine and the unique features found on our thoracic vertebrae. I've zoomed in our spine here so we can see our thoracic vertebrae straight away and it's going to be the segment of our spinal column that articulates with our ribs and helps to create our thoracic cavity. So in our thoracic spine there's going to be 12 vertebrae in total and they are the T1 to T12 vertebrae. So thoracic 1 to thoracic 12 and I've just highlighted them here. So 12 vertebrae all up. And these little uh, bulb shaped things that I'm just kind of outlining now are unique to our thoracic vertebrae and we'll talk about what they are right now. They're called costal facets. The costal facets of our thoracic vertebrae is what's going to be uh, interacting with and articulating with our ribs. So we have our transverse costal facets here. And I'll show them on this view here as well. So we've got this here is a transverse costal facet. So transverse being on the side. And we also have a superior and an inferior costal facet. So superior here and inferior here. Now the superior and inferior are going to interact with the heads of the ribs while the transverse facets are going to interact with the tubercles of the ribs. So I'll just put it on our entire thoracic spine as well. We've got this transverse here and I'll just outline here that we've got our superior and inferior costal facets as well. And before we move on to our next unique feature of the spine, I'll just point out that this whole spine here is viewed laterally, so from the side, and the two individual vertebrae we have, the one on top is viewed superiorly, and the one below it viewed laterally as well, just like with our whole spine. Now the segment I've just highlighted here in green is our spinous process. And our spinous process is one of the uh, easier areas to look at our spine straight away and tell which part of the spine it comes from. And the spinous process of our thoracic vertebrae will be long and sharply pointed, and it will also be uh, sharply downward facing. And these spinous processes will be an area where we have tendon and ligament attachment. Now the next area I'm just highlighting here in purple is the body of our thoracic vertebrae. So the body being the largest portion of the individual vertebrae and will also be the area that serves as the surface for our intervertebral discs. So surface for intervertebral discs and I'll just draw that up here as well so that we can uh, get a better picture of where those intervertebral discs are going to sit. All right, so just here on the spine, you can see that between each vertebrae is going to sit that cartilage disc, which is a, a fibrocartilage disc. And I'll just draw it here on our lateral view as well. We have the disc on the superior side of the bone, so the top, and also on the bottom here, so the inferior side. And the next thing we need to know about the body of the vertebrae is you'll sometimes hear this middle portion of the body called the centrum. The centrum being this area here. You may not always hear that term, but if you do, the centrum is this area in the middle of the body here. Moving on to our next feature, we've got the superior articular process. I've highlighted this superior articular process here in orange and it's going to be the point on our spine where we articulate with the vertebrae that we have directly above us. So articulates with the next vertebrae in the column and we'll also have these articular processes on the bottom so we'll have an inferior articular process as well which is uh, too far underneath the vertebrae for me to show 
in these drawings. So I'll just draw an arrow. We have an inferior process as well underneath. The next feature we're going to look at is one of the most important features of our spine and it's the vertebral foramen. And in our thoracic spine, we're going to find that this vertebral foramen is circular shaped here and it's going to house and protect our spinal cord. So it's going to allow passage of our spinal cord and it will protect it as well. So I've just highlighted here, our spinal cord will pass through here and our vertebrae is going to protect it. But there's no point having the spinal cord there unless we can get the messages to the rest of our body as well. So the next feature I'm going to point out is our inferior notch. And if we have a look on our spine as well, I'll point out the inferior notches on a few of our thoracic vertebrae here. And they're going to be points that when you take into consideration the vertebrae above it as well, a foramen or a hole is going to be created. And that's a hole in which the nerves that uh, come off our spinal cord are going to be able to pass through and go into the uh, extremities of our body. And the last feature I'm going to point out on our thoracic vertebrae is the transverse processes. The transverse processes being here in blue. And they're the uh, bony processes that point out laterally and they're going to be points of tendon and ligament attachment. And as we know, we need strong muscles to be able to maintain ourselves standing upright. So these transverse processes and the spinous process are going to be the attachment points for those muscles and uh, ligaments. And that covers everything we need to know about the basics of the thoracic spine. I hope this video has been helpful to you and I will see you again soon.